एवरीवन नमस्कार आई एम संजीव पांड्या वेलकमिंग यू टू आयुर्वेदा मंत्रा शो बाय शांतिग्राम केरला आयुर्वेदा वेलनेस सेंटर यूएसए शांतिग्राम आयुर्वेदा वेलनेस सेंटर यूएसए ऑफर्स ट्रू ऑथेंटिक केरला बेस्ड पंचकर्मा ट्रीटमेंट्स व्हिच एक्चुअली क्योर्स योर माइंड एंड बॉडी एंड वी ऑल नो हाउ इम्पोर्टेंट इज आयुर्वेदा इज सो दिस शो इज ऑल अबाउट टू टॉक अबाउट इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ आयुर्वेदा हाउ इट कैन हेल्प यू to cure any disease or sickness and uh, once again i am joined by dr ambika nair of santigram kerala ayurveda wellness center usa ambika ji welcome to the show how are you thank you sanjeev again you are going to grill me today i feel <laughs> well i you are a doctor <laughs> and uh, we all like to ask so many questions to doctor very right? nice very and, nice uh, and one thing i must say that you answer all the questions very tirelessly <laughs> that's why i like to ask you many questions no and of course on behalf of our viewers Yes. like to ask you many yeah. questions thanks a lot for being the episodes and uh, keep watching it it is really informative yes and you make it very very interesting and informative so thank you for that today we're going to talk about something which is very important um insaan ke sharir mein in a human body heart is the most important organ jaise hum kehte hain ki jab tak dil ki dhadkane chalti rehti hai जब तक हमारी सांसें चलती रहती है तब तक हम जिंदा है जब वो धड़कन बंद हो जाती है सांसें रुक जाती है तो फिर इंसान इस दुनिया में नहीं रहता दैट्स वाई हार्ट इज़ द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट ऑर्गन इन आवर बॉडी एंड थैंक्स टू आवर व्यूवर्स हु हैव कॉन्टेक्टेड अस एंड रिक्वेस्टेड अस टू टॉक ऑन दिस मैटर यू नो दीदी बिफोर आई बिगिन आई मस्ट से दैट हार्ट स्ट्रोक okay is the third leading cause of death as well as a major cause of disability yeah before it was a second now it has turned to be like third it is the third most uh, so heart stroke is going to be our topic today to start with didi i want to ask you a question what exactly is a heart stroke and how different is it than heart attack oh a heart attack you know because the clotting comes on the especially on the Uh, inferior wall of the mm. you know like your heart muscles mm. okay so that is called anterior wall infarction infarction means already the clot and a further movement will not be there ji so like that only the severe pain comes and you get they will always tell it was a myocardial infarction all those things mm. uh, see we call it a cerebrovascular accident or the stroke mm. stroke means it totally just uh, you know like they uh, say the artery bust over there Achha. okay so then you know the bleeding will be there mm. see artery doesn't bleed inside okay it will only bleed outside actually mm. because you see you have a variation in the blood pressure for a long time you are not taking care with the diet or anything like that so you know the capillaries over there the small vessels over there mm. it will get you know like a small slowly slowly it will you know like it start bleeding mm. but it is not shown in us mm. okay so little pain and all nobody bothers including mm. me mm. i'm telling you then one day it will bust so it bust means you know like the bleeding will occur okay whether it can be over here on the right side of mm. the brain mm. or on the left side or anywhere it can happen acha okay then you know like that is called hemorrhagic okay okay sometimes ischemic also ischemic means you get the supply but you don't get up to mark mm. that's why you know in the heart also they will tell that because Uh, you know ischemic heart disease okay so this is what they say for that because right. like it is like a paralysis you don't get the full supply hmm. of the blood hmm. over there hmm. so this is this is the difference i should say okay yeah so these are the two types of strokes yes yeah, strokes are like uh, hemorrhagic or with the clotting okay okay right. and even ischemic also see with ischemic with the clotting it will come also okay in the stroke yeah person could have a pain or or vessel could break no, somewhere on no that the sign and symptoms is not like that see if a person even while we see we are talking sometimes you know what will happen you may notice that i am little uh, uh, behaving uh, little differently understand mm. no maybe i cannot move my lips in the proper Correct. way maybe you start okay. stuttering stuttering no little, little it's not i am trying i am trying to look at you Gee. but i cannot do it okay i am trying to talk to you but the weights doesn't come that articulation doesn't come properly mm. okay and slowly you know like the pain is like this means you get a numbness over there mm. so it is spreads like that mm. okay it doesn't mean that some days everything happens some people complain of very very severe headache mm. yeah uh, if person has a high bp yeah does it have to do anything with this heart stroke could yeah. high bp lead to hemorrhage 
Okay. Hemorrhage, how the bleeding will come? It can be related with so many other diseases also. Right. Whether you have a high blood pressure, even essential high pres uh, blood pressure. Essential means every day you may not have a blood pressure. Some days, you know, like uh, when you are it is stressed out or anything, it just goes high. Mm. Okay, so that is very dangerous actually. You can get a stroke very fast. Yeah, because, um, you know, what you just mentioned, yeah. I remember about six months ago, one of my closest friends had this kind of thing happening all of a sudden person yeah. has a high uh, blood pressure okay and all of a sudden um, you know stuttering started yeah. and the right side of face was completely, completely numb. yeah and then later on i mean obviously we had to rush to the hospital later on we found out it was a minor stroke stroke very so nice that's exactly what is minor stroke okay i should say that is the real happy hour of his life because at the moment you know that when it was that you were seeing that mm. he was taken to the hospital. Correct. Then the, the, it has to be taken to the hospital to prevent it because suppose, the clotting means. Suppose yeah. if you missed it, suppose you ignore that or something happens. Let me please, yeah. Ah. Your sharir ka ek bhag to bilkul nahi chalega. If the stroke has happened on the right side, left side will not work. So it's it opposite actually. It total, paralyzed. it is hemiplegia, like you know, yeah. like a half a paralyzed. But both the uh, sites I never saw anybody, very rare only it is, but I never saw anybody with a paralysis. Okay. Achha. Only one side it will be there. Okay. If it is affected on the speech side, then your speech will not be there. Hmm. You know, like it will be like uh, very, very sad it is. And we cannot so, even lift it. So, here. so immediate, um, you know. Um, Management will be with the allopathic hospital. That is the most important. Most thing. important. Okay. All right. With that note, we're going to take a break. Um, you're watching Ayurveda Mantra Show by Santigram Kerala Ayurveda Wellness Center USA. Please don't go anywhere. Welcome back to the second segment of Ayurveda Mantra Show by Santigram Kerala Ayurveda Wellness Center USA. Our topic of the day is stroke. In case if you have just joined us, you missed us last segment when we were talking about what actually, what is stroke and um, you know, uh, and when that occurs, what should be done? So that's what we start to talk about it with Dr. Ambika Nair of Santigram Kerala Ayurveda Wellness Center USA. Moving ahead with this uh, topic, Ambika ji, I'd like to ask you a question. What causes a stroke? See, first of all, you know, Vishwa Bhojan. Okay, all this food. Achha. Agar consume karega to, vata will aggravate. Uh. Then it to get capsized. The movements are restricted. That's why it always comes. So what okay. you eat, it has to be taken care. Okay. If you really want to be all right, if you focus on your food, you will never repent in your life. Mm. Yeah. And then earlier we talked about blood pressure also. So yeah. if there is a high blood pressure, that also plays a role in it. Uh, heart, see, the blood pressure comes even with the food derangement. You understand? Yeah. Uh, you are proper sleep, and we will come to that. Okay. Now, stroke, is it more common in male or female? It is mostly seen in male. Mm. Okay. Female, it is there, but it's not that, you know, like a male, I have seen a lot of cases. Female also, the ratio is not that bad. It is there. Okay. Okay. With the stress, you know, okay. all those things, it comes a lot. Blood pressure, they don't take care of themselves. They they don't eat properly. Mm. These, all these things help, you know, make them like that. Now, obviously, stroke occurs, you know, at a time when, like you said, uh, when BP is too high yeah. or you stressed out or something like that. Can it be prevented? It can be prevented. See, first of all, you know, like uh, how you identify. Means okay. if nobody is there at home, Ji. how will you identify? See, you were walking, but suddenly you felt the drop, you know, like yeah. you are dropping your hand mm. or the, the opposite leg, you mm. know, like so, you know, you cannot move. And, this, you know, like some numbness is creeping in that you cannot walk. Natural. Okay, suddenly, then, you know, like you, you are just... Uh, you, you are t going to tell uh, somebody, even uh, telephone, but you won't be able to hold it. Mm. Yeah, this is all very, very nice, actually, signs and symptoms, you know, how you see that. Okay. Yeah. Stroke patients, do they generally get a pain on the right side of the body or left, left side. side of, bo left left side of the body? Usually left yeah, side of the body. Yeah, left side of so the body. So it is obviously heart and mind this that's all related. This is the stroke, actually, because actually they will not feel any pain sometimes. Mm. They will only feel little numbness. 
Okay. okay. Because it is uh, uh, coming on the brain only. Ji, because that ji. without brain, nobody is alive. We understand. Mm -hmm. So if the brain is working, so many things will work in us. Mm -hmm. Because it is the it is everything in our body. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Earlier you start to say something about sleep and yeah. a stroke. Uh, yeah. What exactly did you start to say? Yeah, because I was telling you that if you don't sleep for a long time, you know, at least you know uh, seven to eight hours. Okay, at least in this busy life, six to seven hours. But you should get a proper sleep. Mm. And you are taking unnecessarily. This is all vata derangement in life. Okay. So in lack of sleep. Stress, like, uh, bad eating habits. So many people that they, they are, you know, from one flight to the other. See, work concern, you mm. know. So they move from one place to other, just like that. True. So how they will sleep? Mm. The next day they have to because if they don't go to work, mm. then their problem will be there. They how will they survive? Mm. So these all are there. Okay. So work related, it is the stress and their deadlines. These all make a lot of issues, you know. Yeah. You, you being a doctor and practicing Ayurveda for over 20 years, doctor, tell us, when person gets a stroke, how does that person's life changes after stroke? Sanjeev, it's a very good question and total depression. Achha. Because he was a person, he was always doing everything very, very fast. Mm. They are very ambitious, mm. okay. They wanted to do everything by ignoring even everything. So the moment, you know, like a severe depression and fear because they will think that, you know, that they won't be able to come out from this. Wow. Not only that, one stroke means it affects the whole family. Ji. Yeah, because the one who take care also get affected. Mm. Okay. It is like a, a day and night difference. If person has gotten stroke, um, uh, is it possible that could lead to heart attack in the future? Yeah, they can get it. They can get they it. Are, they are prone for that actually, if oh. they don't take care. Hmm. Yeah. All right, it's very important and to take care of yourself, it is the most important thing. We're going to take a break and when we come back, we're going to talk about how Ayurveda can really help a patient. A uh, patient's gotten stroke and how Ayurveda can help it and how that uh, person can be cured. So that's all coming up in the uh, third segment after the break. You're watching Ayurveda Mantra. Please stay right there. Welcome back to the third and final segment of Ayurveda Mantra Show by Santigram Kerala Ayurveda Wellness Center USA. That center, Santigram Kerala Ayurveda Wellness Center, as the name suggests, they are the pioneer and um, they offer genuine Kerala Ayurveda Panchkarma treatment which can heal your mind and body. Check out their website, santigramusa.com for all the details. And should you have any questions on Ayurveda about yourself or someone in the family, any health related question, you're most welcome to send us an email, info at santigramusa.com, which you will see it on the screen, info at santigramusa.com. And uh, before I go any further, I wanna thank uh, all our viewers and for their emails and suggestions and um, very nice complimentary words that they have sent in Dr. Mikaji. So that is very nice. Now moving on to this topic, stroke, um, which is you know the important topic that we're discussing and then how one should really take care of it. Now we learned what is stroke, we learned what causes stroke, we also learned symptoms of stroke, uh, Ambigaji. Now let's talk about how Ayurveda. Management. Correct, mm -hmm. management. Uh, you know, uh, stroke comes in, obviously stroke doesn't knock on the door when it comes, <laughs> it comes in. But finally when, when a stroke occurred, what should be done and how Ayurveda can help to manage that person's health? Normally, you know, like people go for physical therapy because there is hemiplegia, Gee. you know, like paralysis over here. So, you know, like they come after maybe some people, they know that in Ayurveda only that we can take care. Mm. So they come very fast also, like even mm. from the hospital directly. Even my brother-in-law had a stroke, Achha. like uh, seven years back. Gee. So they actually his daughter was there. So she only, she is also in the hospital Gee. only. So she understood. That little movement was like uh, not normal, mm. and he was unable to walk it properly. So suddenly taken, so you know, like that, and it was hemorrhagic. 
So for the anti-clotting and all, they have given and it worked well. Mm. And after the four days, we started our treatment mm. in uh, Shantikram, mm. Kerala Ayurveda, where he is doing very well. Mm. Even I should say that healthier than all of us. He is reaching 80 now, already reached 80. Really? But he looks like 50. Wow. wow. So now, did he tell us um, Ayurveda? Mm. What exactly would you we do? do Let's say when, when a person comes to Santigram Kerala yeah. Ayurveda Wellness Center, okay. um, and then once you diagnose uh, that person had a stroke okay. and everything, that where do you begin? Yeah, we start with a pulse diagnosis. Mm. Not only because he will have only the because of the blood pressure, there will be so many other s reasons also. Mm. Maybe his kapha dosha is there, his bowel movements may not be all right, mm. a lot of acidity issues maybe some hormonal imbalances, you understand? So maybe some other other related diseases, whether mm. with the kidney or anything like that. Right. So we do diagnose them properly and especially for the hemiplegia, what we do is that because we start with the, you know, like a panchakarma treatment. Ji, so ji. first itself, abhyangam. Abhyangam is, you know, like for the circulation, what we do, okay. and it really pacifies the vata. Wow. Okay, it's very nice, okay. Then we take the polities, we make it, you know, like all the herbs. Mm. This also we will write it specifically which all needed. Mm. So accordingly then we do it, mm. okay. So which will improve the circulation, okay. okay. Then nasya treatment is there, that is very nice. And you know, like some people just after one week itself, their speech was lost, means they started speaking. Okay. Okay, so then Karnapuranam is given for okay. the balance. Okay, Indeed. then Pidichil is given. There Indeed. are so many treatments. Even Pidichil is like a oil bath is Indeed. given Indeed. so that it improve. Then Shastika, you know, like a what mm. bead is that, you know, like a Nyavara, mm. so that to strengthen the muscles. Because some people come after five, six years. Indeed. Okay, so their muscles are not coordinated. Correct. So muscle growth is not there. That's it. They drag themselves and walk. Mm. Okay. See, little bit they become normally also all right, but uh, not like this, you mm -hmm. know. That, uh, mm -hmm. So, you know, like it will help a lot. Okay. So then, uh, uh, then uh, you know, like uh, the diet is also more important. Mm. We tell them, not only that, counseling every time, mentally, you know, like uh, when we, you know, like uh, give them, because they will be in severe depression. Correct. The first question, hamara to life ho gaya khatam. Ji. Okay, it's not yeah. like that. We'll tell that there are so many people who came and they became perfectly all right. Mm. So we tell them, you know, how to do with that. Uh, never get depressed. Yes. This is more important, motivation. And what exercise they do at home, uh, slowly, slowly, and after the even panjagarma treatment also. Mm. This is all we, I tell them how to do. Even mm. all our doctors do it. So yeah. after their abhyangam and panjagarma treatment, yeah. after your body is yeah. completely, um, taken you know, taken care of yeah. it, right? Um, yeah. Then one should really um, take care of themselves by uh, following, we by following a diet, yeah. exercise. Yes, okay. that is the you know therapeutic yoga. Okay. We tell them what all movements they should do. This is you know see yoga. You cannot do everything. Mm. So what they need for the body, it is already uh, customized. Mm. This is all customized treatment. Okay. okay, so we do that, and they really come back very fast. Achha, yeah. very nice. Okay, yeah. good to know. Now, uh, did it before the end of the show? Um, here is uh, one of the questions from our viewers come in and I'd like to uh, uh, point out that question to you. Okay, okay. Um, wow. Here's a uh, question from one of our viewers. Uh, so he's saying that I had a stroke six years back. Uh -huh. I was unable to walk or talk uh -huh. uh, even after that. Uh -huh. uh, now, and the person tried all medical treatment uh -huh. and everything, wants to know that, uh, wants to be sure that how it can be cured through Ayurveda. See, uh, actually people uh, write me also like uh, mails like this. Yeah. And some people have gone to Kerala also for these treatments, and it is very tiring for them to go over there. So they ask, you know, like whether it can be done over here. Sure, you have we, brought Kerala here we, in the US. We are doing all the treatments, whatever, you know, like in Kerala, Correct. and the diagnostic skills are, are through the pulse analysis. And my all the clients who come over there, I don't think that somebody has gone by crying Gee. due to the grace God. We exactly. means uh, God's grace. Sorry, yeah. A, a, maybe a person walks in Santigram Kerala yeah. with a center with <laughs> tears in their eyes, <laughs> but when they leave after treatment, they leave happy with smile on their face because they are very yes. well taken Sanjeev, care. Sanjeev, we are only tools. Ji. We can only help. You understand? Ji. And then you, you're and if your luck is good, you know they you will listen to you know what the doctor says and uh, really 
do the treatment Indeed. properly. And yeah. that's why you don't need to go to Kerala. You can have <laughs> the same Kerala genuine treatment here. Everything is here. At a, at a center yeah. near you, or something around Kerala Ayurveda Wellness Center. USA. And some people were asking even, oh, you do you have this medicine, what I was getting there, what mm -hmm. I was getting? Every medicine is there. I don't think that because they bring all the one month, medi one year medications and all. Everything we are getting here and everything we have, it all co comes through the FDA also. Indeed. There is nothing to worry for that. The only thing they need to do is that you need to contact <laughs> Santigram Kerala Ayurveda Wellness Center USA here at a location near you. Give them a call or visit their website. Yeah. With that note, Didi, we come to an end of this episode. Thank yeah. you so very much once again. Okay. Please be careful now the winter now and you have to be very careful because winter only the strokes are too much mm. and they get you know like it, getting exposed to the very cold weather yes. is not that right okay so well you you should be well dressed and cover your head everything and take care don't overeat unnecessarily these things actually it will help you a lot and drink only warm water please listen drink only warm water that is the Ayurveda Mantra of the day by Dr. Ambika Nair of Santigram Kerala Ayurveda Wellness Centre USA. Ambika ji, thank you so very much. And viewers, thank you for watching the show. Until we meet again, of course, stay healthy and stay happy. Take care of yourself. Holidays just around the corner. We're only a couple of weeks away now uh, for um, Christmas and the New Year. So uh, do take care of yourself. and Stay healthy. Uh, and uh, we'll meet you at the same place next week at the same time. Once again, I am Sanjeev Pandya, wishing you all happy and vibrant week ahead. Shantigram wishes you a very happy and healthy holidays. Mm -hmm.